Hey boys and girls, uh, I'm back again. Um, the, the little tweet that I sent out wound up with about 45,000 people looking at it in about um, less than a half an hour. So I figured it might be worth our while to do a little short uh, YouTube on, um, on just how important this latest development where Rivian comes on board with the, uh, the new um, North American um, uh, charging system. This is not just um, a little thing that's happening here. We've got an avalanche. Okay, so the first guy that came out was Aptera. And actually, I've mentioned it before, they are one of our customers. We're helping them develop their product and whatnot. But the, the, uh, the move for them to go to something that would actually fit in that, in that smaller vehicle was their only option. Okay, so I keep making reference to the difference between plugs. So let, I brought this. This is an English plug, and this is an American plug. Now, at the end of the day, you can see right off the bat, this one is huge, this one is small. If I had a Europe, there's gonna be saying, oh yeah, but it's running 220, well, or 240. At the end of the day, I can plug this into a 220 as well, and I do when I'm in China or Japan or whatever, and uh, they run 220, I can plug this thing in, and guess what? Uh, my, uh, my transformer will take care of it for my computer. But this, this is a monster-sized plug. This thing costs the British every day. Every time somebody buys an appliance, one of these great big honking devices is on the end of it. This is the kind of thing that should have been taken into account when they went with CCS-1. Uh, so I'm gonna make another prediction. I made a prediction, uh, I don't know, that would be <clears throat> more than a year ago now, that, hey, you know what? Everybody is eventually gonna have to go to the Tesla uh, charging system. And the reason for that is because the chargers just, that are out there just don't work as well as what Tesla does. And now we're seeing, okay, Aptera, and now Ford was a big OEM that, that came first, and, now we, and then we have GM, and now we have Rivian. But let's think about it. How are the other guys, what are they gonna do? Where's, as far as I'm concerned, Hyundai and Kia have nothing to lose, nothing to lose by moving into this new, this, well, what I would classify as an engineered solution. Just look at the two plugs. We're gonna put up something from Inside EV that I think is brilliant, the way they show uh, shadows. And that, that, that's the only way to go. I mean, who wants something that's ugly, heavy, and doesn't work? <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, moving toward uh, this new way of doing business is the, only, is the only solution, really, for people like Hyundai, Kia, uh, and then eventually, I think, Toyota, and eventually Honda, uh, the only guys that I see that are really going to be in, in trouble are going to probably be uh, VW because they've hung their hat on a system that now uh, they, they tried to push through and maybe it'll work in Europe. But I'm very, very doubtful that it's going to be the selected system here in North America. So I, I'm kind of going to encourage some of the other folks, the other players that are a little smaller um, Lucid, uh, I think Peter uh, should uh, maybe knock on uh, Elon's door. I'm sure he's got direct access and whatnot. And all of the other smaller EV companies that are out there, um, I'm thinking it'd be a good idea for you to try and figure out how you can get into this system as well. Because quite frankly, the people who don't move quickly uh, will definitely be losers. I love the little picture that... Uh, that um, Sawyer Merritt put up uh, with um, SpongeBob SquarePants. I think that this is kind of like, is very, very telling with VW standing there looking out the window, everybody else moving in a different direction. I don't know how, um, I don't know how, um, how VW is gonna recover or what they're gonna do next, but I do know one thing, Ford, General Motors, Rivian, and Aptera are all on the lucky streak and all heading in the right direction. I've also found out that many of the uh, better um, suppliers of electricity and whatnot, like uh, the ABB folks and whatnot, they're also moving to chargers that can, uh, can easily handle the new system or the better system, which is um, 
the North American charging system. Anyway, it's just a quick one. <laughs> There's gonna have to be editing because Sandy's tongue-tied today, but I'm telling you, this is a really exciting, a really historic day. Thanks for watching.